Hello everyone, my name is Michael Cheswa from Kauthi Institute of Technology and I'll talk about a power time domain simulation toolbox developed in Julia for the analysis of power system dynamics. This work is motivated by the current changes seen in the grid structure, for example, the increase in grid sizes due to the operation of large interconnected networks and the increasing integration of renewable energies along with the changes in operation due to the characteristics of renewable energies. And all these changes result in an increase in network complexity, which in turn imposes additional computational requirements on the simulation tools used for the for power grid analysis. This is why a Julia-based power simulation algorithm is developed in this work as a contribution to the need for more efficient methods in the analysis process. In order to form the power solution, first it is necessary to analyze the model representation of the power system. This is a simple illustration of a power system model, of which the, the general model can be conveniently divided into two subsystems. One, the generator subsystem, modeled using differential and algebraic equations, and the other, the network subsystem, modeled using algebraic equations in the current balance form. The point to observe here is that the different generators in the system are decoupled from each other and only interconnected through the network subsystem. Therefore, to form the power solution, it is necessary to split the network equation. But first, the grid has to be partitioned. Network partitioning applied in this work is based on a multi-level graph partitioning algorithm, which produces subsystems balanced but interconnected to each other. In order to apply the partitions to the dynamic simulation problem considered in this work, the partitioning is extended to include an interconnect subsystem which interlinks the different subsystems in the network. Once the subsystems are formed, the network equation can then be reformulated from a current balance form with an admittance matrix for the whole network into a bordered block, bordered board block diagonal form consisting of admittance matrices for the different subsystems and an admittance matrix for the interconnecting subsystem. Once this is done, the power solution can then proceed in two steps with an initial sequential step for the solution of the nodal boundary voltages for the interconnecting subsystem, which voltages are then sent to the different subsystems which can go ahead to compute their internal node voltages in parallel. The implementation of the algorithm is based on MADDUN, which is a MATLAB-based sequential algorithm for power system transit analysis. But first, the sequential algorithm is ported to Julia in order to analyze the performance differences and then extended to the power algorithm, whose code structure can be summarized as follows. The solution starts with an initialization step in order to determine the steady state starting point for the dynamic simulations and this is based on power models package in Julia. Now depending on the network definition, admittance matrices are formed for each partition and this can be completed in pair using the athletes Julia macro. And each time step in the time loop consists of two main tasks. One, the solution of the differential equations for the generator subsystem and since these subsystems are decoupled from each other, this can be completed in parallel using the Athletes macro. The second, second task is the solution of the algebraic equations of the network. And this, is, this consists of the two steps. For the sequential step, computing the, node, the boundary node voltages, followed by the, pyro, the pyro, pyro step for computing the internal node voltages. In case of an event resulting in a change in network topology, the admittance bus matrix has to be reformulated and algebraic equations of the network solved before the next time step. The final step is the is a post-processing step for the visualization of results, and in this work, this is done using in form of plots. In order to analyze the performance, the performance, the performance of the algorithm, different standard networks of varying complexity are applied. In this case, the complexity varies from a network with nine nodes a network with 13,000 nodes. Initially, the sequential versions in MATLAB and Julia are compared and can be observed here that the, 
the sequential junior version outperforms the MATLAB version and this, this, this can be attributed to the high performance capability of Julia and therefore the sequential Julia version is used for further comparison of the of the parallel version and it is observed that the parallel version attains computational uh, improvements in form of speed up as the network complexity increases in this case the best speed up recorded so far is 57 percent for a network with 9,000 nodes part of the ongoing work is to further improve the performance of the algorithm and this will include further optimization of the implementation extension of the algorithm to the Julia version with task parallelism and since the main the main steps in the time domain simulation are um, memory bound uh, memory bound problems a further task will be to apply GPU computing in order to take advantage of the large memory bandwidth of graphic cards over CPUs. And with this, thank you very much for your attention.